So this name, Arthur J. Gallagher, you heard that name? It's a gigantic insurance broker, more than $4 billion market cap here in Chicago, and they know what it takes to have endurance in a very tough industry. The company went public back in 1984. It's continuing to grow with just a huge amount of mergers and acquisition activity. Try this, 60 acquisitions in just 2012 alone. 43 of those were in the first nine months of the year. This guy, Pat Gallagher, Arthur J. Gallagher, Chairman, Chief Executive Officer and President, joins me now in a Fox Business it's exclusive to talk about how you swallow that many, I don't know, whales, minnows, fish all, of all sizes? Fish of all sizes, but mostly medium-sized businesses that were in the 3 to $10 million in revenue range, which for us is a business that would probably have anywhere from 50 to 125 people. When you swallow a company, when you buy, merge, acquire a company like that, have, you've probably gotten very good at it with that many under your belt, but what is the number one thing you as a CEO really needs to do to get them up to speed on the culture, which is what we were just talking about with Kevin Kelly, culture at a company? 99% of our due diligence in the acquisition area is on the culture. The numbers are easy to figure out. The brokerage business doesn't take risk. We don't have big balance sheets. It's not hard to see whether or not someone is making money or not. And if they're making money and they're running a good business, it then comes down to the culture. And 100% of our decision rests on whether or not we believe these entrepreneurs who built their own businesses will join our company and stay. We don't try to synergize out the cost. We want to add people, add capabilities, and grow their business. So you don't usually lay off when you buy a company? No, we don't. That's so. highly unusual because on the street, that's what they look at that's what they usually do it's a different model we're a different industry this is we don't have any inventory and I, would, I know it's a cliche but this is our inventory is our people and so what we're looking for are good strong people who love the business and who want to stay and we give them an opportunity to move to a platform to be able to work on accounts that on their own they wouldn't be allowed to do and that's what excites them this is a company whose stock is up about 13 percent I want our viewers to know as well that they've got a dividend of about about 3.6 percent for all your dividend chasers I know that's very attractive but uh, Pat let's talk about the insurance business right now okay. and there is a lot of fear about uh, the Affordable Care Act you're not fearful at all in fact you basically have tried to figure out how best to profit from it and you're able to charge more for certain policies is that correct how have you done that well it wouldn't be policies but here's what it is the Affordable Care Act is so complicated it is a very complicated act and have it you has read it all? of course not <laughs> 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 but I've got lots and lots of colleagues that are all over that document and know exactly what it means for our clients and when things have to be staged in, what the compliance issues are, and when they have to be ready. And what this has done is made it, so, it is such a difficult act to come to grips with. Many, many clients thought, well, I'll just wait and see if the Supreme Court allows the law to go on. And they didn't really pay attention to it. Now, all of a sudden, they're waking up and 2014's around the corner. A ton of things have to be done, and they're scrambling. And what it's also done is it's put, part of the reason we got so many uh, acquisitions done last year is that 33 of those were in the benefit space, where people realized that they need our capabilities to serve their clients. So that actually helped us to, to generate additional acquisitions. I have you sitting next to me. You're a great fount of uh, resource. I, I guess my question would be that there are a lot of complaints. By the way, we're at session highs for the markets at the moment. Thank you very much for that, Pat. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'll but, take credit. But do you get the sense that a lot of employers, because this has been sort of the, the fear mongering and tactics or not, I don't know, maybe it's reality, that employers will rather pay the, the, the fine instead of cover their employees no healthcare. we don't we actually don't think that okay. and the reason is it, that when you look when you get above about 200 lives in a case in other words 200 lives in a company the benefits portion is really part of the compensation package so if you just decide to pay the 2000 and throw your people out to the wolves and say you go ahead and buy it, you're gonna have to give them raises anyway because they've been getting a benefit that actually has been pre-tax. Right. So we believe that employers, very much like when we saw the industry change when it came to pensions, going more to defined contribution as opposed to defined benefit, the employer stays right in the middle of that mix. We believe that's what's going to continue to happen. And what we're seeing in our business is employers are not dropping and walking away. They're not planning on doing that. They're planning on dealing with the act. He loves his employees, even the ones that he takes on in, in what, some 60 acquisitions. Yep. Pat Gallagher, it's great to have you. We really appreciate it. Thank you for the invitation. Of I appreciate course, it. he is of Arthur Gallagher, and, and his granddaddy started the business. How about that? That's right. Thanks, Grandpa, and I'm sure he'd be very proud of you. Thank you very much. Uh